Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And today I want to share with you my thoughts on the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Natural Sun Cream. Now this is a mineral sunscreen and as you may know, not really my jam, not really into mineral sunscreens personally. However, one of my favorite chemical sunscreens is the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. I really love Love that sunscreen. I think a lot of you watching do too. It's becoming very, very popular. And this is really kind of like the mineral sunscreen sister version to that sunscreen. And so I was really curious to see, you know, how does this measure up with mineral filters? Does this have some of the same characteristics of be being really light and breathable on the skin, really user friendly? So I want to share all my thoughts with you on this one. If you are so ready, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right in. So let's jump right into the ingredients and interesting with this sunscreen they are only using zinc oxide for the SPF protection. Now this is labeled SPF 50 PA plus 4. Now in the wake of everything that happened over the last couple of years with Korean sunscreens, the real standard these days is for brands to publish the um, verification and the testing um, that behind the labeling of the sunscreens to ensure that it is actually meeting that SPF 50 PA plus 4 requirement. The testing has been released for this sunscreen and the average SPF is coming out to a 51.8 with the average PFA coming out to 18.2. Now as far as the rest of the ingredients go, you know, not much to report here. It's actually a very minimal um, ingredients list. Beyond the sunscreen filters, I'm always looking for things like drying alcohol, essential oils, or maybe artificial fragrance, none of which appears here on the ingredients list. It's completely fragrance-free and no drying alcohol. Something else I noticed, especially from the sensitive skin side of things, is that there's really no uh, plant extracts in in here, which can sometimes cause issues sometimes, right, with sensitive skin. Um, but it's really interesting to note that this is just very minimal, very straightforward, and I personally think very sensitive skin friendly. The texture is really impressive here, and I have to admit, I am biased against mineral sunscreens. So when I think about that in my mind, like a traditional mineral sunscreen texture, I'm thinking of something that's really thick and like maybe even kind of chalky and dry, really hard to spread across the skin. And that is not what this is at all. This actually has almost like a gel cream kind of vibe to it. Um, because as you spread this across your skin, you're going to notice that it's very light. It's got really great spreadability across the skin. This is not hard to work in at all. It's got great spread, really light and breathable, and it actually has a hydrating feel. You know, that's definitely the hyaluronic acid here and that's definitely a hallmark of the hyaluronic acid line from Isentry. So I'm not surprised, um, but I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It feels really nice and refreshing on the skin. I don't detect much moisture here. Um, it's very light um, on that. It's definitely not something that's gonna add a lot of emolliency to the skin. And the finish of this is not shiny. It's not even like greasy, you know what I mean? Um, it's a nice neutral finish is what I would call it. Um, so it's not adding anything to the skin which is great. Now, when it comes to mineral sunscreens, there is going to be a white cast. Um, at least on my skin tone, I'm always noticing a little bit of something. And I do notice a little bit of something here. It's totally workable. You know what I mean? Like I can deal with this and that's just, I honestly feel that's just one of the trade-offs that you have with mineral sunscreens. Like you're gonna have to get a little bit of that, little bit of paling out, that little white cast or maybe even that kind of gray cast look if you wanna wear mineral filters. And with this one, it's very minimal. You notice it a little bit more on application and as this starts to absorb in, it does seem to fade away. One real nice bonus thing about this sun this sunscreen that um, I get with a lot of mineral sunscreens, but I don't get with this one is that it doesn't really build up around dark hair. So like eyebrows, the hairline, maybe if you're rocking a beard, you know how mineral sunscreen especially can really clump up in those areas and be very noticeable. This um, actually doesn't really do that. And I think it's down to that lighter, like I said, almost like a gel cream kind of a texture that this sunscreen has. It doesn't clump up as easily. And I think that's great because yeah, if you have dark hair and you're wearing like mineral sunscreen, it can be, um, it's 
pretty noticeable and sometimes it's a little embarrassing when you're in public and you're like, yeah, my sunscreen is all clumped up around my eyebrows, but luckily not with this one. So let's talk reapplication, which is really important. I do find as you reapply the sunscreen, you're gonna build upon that white cast just a little bit. So something to take into consideration, but I actually feel like this reapplies really nicely. I didn't notice any pilling and I also didn't know that notice this like start to build up super thick and heavy on my skin because sometimes the first application of sunscreen feels fine and breathable but then the second application of sunscreen starts to suffocate your skin a little bit I didn't really get that sensation with this so I really just think overall they did an amazing job with this texture keeping it really light and not um, super heavy or overwhelming on the skin and like I said really no pilling with this one which is a huge bonus and I want to talk about the scent because as I mentioned there are no fragrances in this sunscreen but that doesn't mean that it doesn't come with a smell right and especially with unfragranced sunscreens you might get like a really heavy you know sunscreen smell and I'm happy to let you know that that really isn't the case here if you really get your nose into it like right after you like squeeze it out of the tube you might smell a little bit of that sunscreen smell but as you're applying it it you really don't smell it and it doesn't hang around it is not a heavy scent it does not linger I know so many people don't enjoy the smell of sunscreen I personally think it's the official smell of summer <laughs> <laughs> but I know not everybody enjoys smelling like heavy sunscreen. So I wanted to let you know the scent here uh, is very, very minimal, if not, you know, not even detectable at all, which is a big bonus. All right, so let's talk about the performance of this sunscreen and my thoughts about it. You know, I think this is a really easy sunscreen to use. As I mentioned with mineral sunscreen, there can be some difficulties in application with the white cast, with it building up like around my eyebrows. And especially because the white cast is a little bit more apparent I'm always a little bit nervous that there's gonna be like streaks you know what I mean like on my face where I didn't rub it in completely or where it builds up around dark hair and because this texture is just so light and easy to spread I just don't feel as paranoid about this sunscreen if you know what I mean like I like I'm checking my eyebrows in the middle of the day and that's fine I'm not seeing streaks across my face so I just feel like it's a really easy sunscreen just you know, to apply, which isn't always the case with mineral sunscreens. Now, something else I really appreciated about the way that this performs is the fact that it's not a greasy sunscreen. As I mentioned, it has a hydration or kind of like a watery, refreshing feel on the skin with not much emolliency. Um, and that's definitely apparent in the finish of this sunscreen. It doesn't add a lot of shine or moisturization to your skin. And it's interesting because I was testing this along another mineral sunscreen and the other mineral sunscreens that I've been using lately have all kind of been a little bit more moisturizing have all kind of left me a little bit kind of like greasy in the middle of the afternoon but not this one which is awesome now my skin type is combination so I do produce a little bit of oil in my t-zone but I do also have dry zone so finding the right balance with sunscreen can be a little bit difficult but what I liked about this one is it did balance out that t-zone it you know in the middle of the afternoon I wasn't noticing a lot of grease or like you know how you can like wipe it right off of your forehead and you're like Ugh. um this was not contributing to that at all but it wasn't like super drying out my dry areas or like clinging to dry patches either so it seemed to serve both areas uh very nicely so I just think like overall the texture you know the balance between hydration and emolliency here is like chef's kiss and this is really something I would recommend if you are oily skin you like mineral sunscreens but you don't like moisturizing ones I think this could be the mineral sunscreen for you the texture and the finish and everything I think it's going to be very oily skin friendly now speaking of dry skin let's talk about the drying factor of this sunscreen because as you may know mineral filters zinc and titanium do sometimes like aggravate dryness or dehydration on the skin especially if you do have a dry skin type or you're prone to dehydration I think you're gonna experience this a lot more than maybe other skin types do and you know zinc in particular does have the ability to kind of control oil production on the skin so if you don't have a lot of oil to begin with right like if you have like dry areas on your face 
you can see why it may not always be a match and why it may kind of flare up dryness on your skin. That has always been my experience with mineral sunscreens. Uh, like I said, I do have some dry areas on my face and I'm prone to dehydration. So mineral sunscreens aren't actually always the best match with my skin. They tend to make it feel very dry, very dehydrated and tight. And if it goes on too long, then we're talking about lots of inflammation and dryness. So every mineral sunscreen is different, like on a varying scale of what my skin can actually tolerate. Some of them, I have to wash them off because my skin is just like completely getting so dried out. It's unbearable. Some are kind of in the middle and some like I actually tolerate pretty well with minimal drying. Now, I, I just have to say this. If you're somebody who's worn mineral sunscreen in the past and you're like, what is she talking about drying? Like if you've never experienced that before, you're not going to experience this with the Isn't Tree uh, natural sun cream because the drying factor on this in my experience is very very mineral minimal so like I said just take it with a grain of salt if you've never experienced this if you have if you're like yes I'm resonating with this know that this is for me at least was on the very very minimal side of feeling a little bit dry maybe a little bit dehydrated nothing that a little extra like hydration and moisture in my nighttime routine did not solve so I was actually really impressed with this because there's some really excellent mineral sunscreens that like I really like but like I just cannot tolerate day to day because they're just too drying for my picky skin so just from my experience I was actually really impressed with this it's just not super duper drying all right so my final thoughts on this I'm actually like kind of impressed with this <laughs> I've said throughout the whole video about how much I don't like mineral sunscreen but like this is one I can actually get behind and this is one I can see myself using occasionally um, and that's actually a a big thing for me to say overall though like I think the ingredients are great I am blown away by the texture of this I love how this performs I love how this wears on the skin it's not that mineral sunscreen that makes your skin feel really like sealed off to the point where you're almost overheating underneath that thick heavy layer of mineral sunscreen do you know what I mean I don't get that with this and so this really ticks a lot of boxes for me when it comes to sunscreens and especially when it comes to mineral sunscreens so I'm actually going to rate this one a 9 out of 10. And the only reason I docked it one point, it's just that drying factor. That's just my personal experience. But I actually think this is like a worthy, like I said, kind of a sister um, mineral sunscreen to the very famous hyaluronic acid watery sun gel, which is probably one of my holy grail sunscreens. I think it's a worthy mineral sunscreen successor to that. I think they're both very, very good. Isn't Tree has done it again. I think and if you're in the market for a mineral sunscreen that's a little bit lighter on the skin and not very emollient or moisturizing like I said definitely if you're on the oilier side of things combination I think that this is a sunscreen that you're also going to enjoy so I'm curious have you tried this one before or do you have some new sunscreen crushes that you're loving let me know in the comment box below if this review helped you out please do consider hitting subscribe if you have not already I release a lot of new skincare videos just like this one throughout the week so you may consider turning on notifications too so you're never out of the loop. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.